I don't mind heights. Heights don't break me. Ah! Holy smokes! I don't feel so good. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Granny, I'm so sorry for your loss. Lily sounds like she was a wonderful, wonderful young girl. So Lily here was Granny's uh, daughter. And she was married to Barker, the farmer. And uh, Lily fell to her death climbing alone. So that's what Granny's been talking about all this time. Not about Astrid, our friend, but she does want us to go find our friend now. And she's going to let us use Lily's climbing gear to get out of here. So let's get upstairs and get that climbing gear. And we're going to go to Perseverance Mills. I think that's where we need to go next. And we're going to need the climbing gear to do so. And the climbing gear is up in Lily's bedroom, which is, I think, where we're staying. And it's in this chest yeah, trunk right here. She gave us a key for it. Oh. I always do that. I always let go when I shouldn't. Mountaineering rope. Heavy-duty rope designed for climbing. It's 11 pounds. Holy smokes. We're already up to 97 pounds. And a worn Mackinac jacket, heavy wool jacket, and a with a decidedly Canadian flavor. Beloved by hunters and lumberjacks and climbers, apparently. New climbing socks. Ooh. Oh, and here's Lily's map. A map that shows Lily's climbing route leading out of Milton, out of the Milton area. Yeah, well, we're going to need that. Holy cow. All right. Chapter 4. Oh, we're on Chapter 4. Oh, man. We're so heavy. <laughs> I can barely move. Okay, I'm going to have to go back downstairs and drop some stuff because I did pack up a lot of the uh, a lot of the equipment that we had scattered all over Granny's floor in the living room here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't stop. Can't slow down. Um, because I didn't think we were going to be coming back this way. But maybe we don't need all of it. Let's see. Yeah, we're at 111 pounds and we need to trim down some. All right, Granny, I got the climbing gear. Anything you want to tell me about it? Before I take it, nope, we're done here. Okay, she just wants to uh, sit here in peace. And now that she's she's happy that we dropped off the uh, pearls for her daughter at the grave, and she is content. And now I'm gonna have to get organized again here, guys, and try to drop some of the stuff. Let's just check out that jacket right quick here. Yeah, we're gonna take the vest off and put this on. And it's, oh yeah, it's definitely better. But let's, um, let's repair it first. 51 minutes. It's okay, we're going to do it. That sound would get right there. 100%. Oh, yeah, baby. Put that on. Sweet. All right. That's a nice mid-layer right there. Super warm. Well, Granny, I guess this is goodbye. Thanks for letting us crash at your place, okay? And uh, you can have all this stuff. We won't be needing it. Probably not going to be coming back for it. And uh, you take care of yourself. And thank you for allowing us to use your daughter's climbing equipment. I'm going to go find Astrid now. And we're going to survive. We're going to push on. Thanks to you and Lily. Appreciate it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Granny. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Oh, so sad. I hate leaving the old woman. She was very kind to us. She was a little gruff. But in the end, she's got a, uh, a lovely, lovely warm heart. Now, where's that map? Um, so if we follow this road at the fork before the gas station, should be able to find that pass. All right, away we go. We are super heavy here, so hopefully we won't have to run. Let's get that flare gun out just in case. Oh, by the way, lots of people suggested to grab that rifle next to Granny before leaving. But, um, well, you can't. <laughs> I tried it off camera. It's stuck to the floor. And besides, it's Granny's. Why would I take her only, her only weapon? She's going to need some defense, you know, some self-defense. Did I open that? Yeah, that's open. Now, I did leave some gear at the, um, at the gas station in a cooler. You guys remember that? So we'll stop off there and have a look-see. I don't know if it's important. I seem to have a lot of stuff that we're going to need anyway. Very, very heavy and loaded down with just about everything we're going to need, I think. 
I don't see any wolves about, so maybe they're going to let us get to the pass without any trouble. That would be nice. Goodbye, Milton. It was a pleasant stay, I suppose. All right, here's the Orca gas station. And yeah, we're going to have to go that way, down that road. Oh, Wolfie. Oh, dang it. I wanted to get into Orca. Well, there's two of them. Of course, they're right in my pathway, aren't they? All right, forget the gear. I don't know what's in that cooler, and I don't think we're going to need it. So let's just go. Or is there a back door here? Oh, okay, there's a back door. All right, let's just duck inside right quick and see what's in that cooler. Maybe this... Oh, oh i got to force it. And we're in. Congratulations, Will. You are now a felon for breaking and entering... <laughs> We should have just gone through the front door, which is wide open. Although, it is Canada, so I don't know if that is a felon breaking and entering. I'm sure it's a crime. Uh, anyway, so we have a lot of food in this cooler. That's what we put in here. And a pry bar in pretty good shape, although ours is 96%. Anyway, let's just grab a couple of things here. We definitely want the coffee. That could come in handy. And how about some salty crackers and that soda there, and we'll fill up right now. Let's eat and drink before we go. How about a... Let's eat the crackers. It's going to make us a little um, thirsty. But it will fill the belly. we got all the calories now. And how about this soda right here? All right. Good. Belly is full. We have um, plenty of calories to burn for this, um, this climb. So let's go do it. Uh-oh. What about the wolves? Ah! Ah! Ugh. Okay. False alarm. They're not here. I should have put the flare gun in my hands before leaving the building. But it doesn't look like they came this way unless they already passed by. Anywho. All right, here's the trail that I think... Oh, Will, sleepy! Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Will, you gotta stay awake, buddy, because we got some climbing to do. Somewhere up there, and you don't want to climb fatigued or in a weakened state. Definitely not. You gotta be wide awake and strong for climbing, because all it takes is one little slip, right? As Lily um, Barker knows. Of course, we don't know how she fell. But, alright, this is it. Hiking trail! Sweet! Right through this arch. Okay. But before we go up that way, let's, let's go to the bathroom. I gotta go. I'm afraid of climbing. I gotta go. <laughs> I really don't like climbing. My son's a climber, as I had mentioned in the last episode. Uh, oh! Bank deposit key number 20. Ooh. Uh, but we're not going back to the bank now. That would be dumb. Too far away. We're running out of time. We got to get out of here. I don't really know why I'm going through this car. It's just an automatic response. It's like Pavlov's dogs, right? See, car, loot. That's how it is in the, uh, in the apocalypse. But we have all we need. We don't really need anything right now. So, all right. I guess this is the way. According to the uh, the sign there, hiking trail. Well, we got bunny wabbits here. We could kill a bunny wabbit, get his um, little fur, and make some nice fur mittens, which are the bestest ever. But I don't think it's worth it right now. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's midday. We got plenty of time. Oh, new location discovered. Milton Park. What does this say? Park warning notice. Space, read it. Park warning notice, due to the unfortunate accident, oh no, Lily's death, right? The Milton and Area Parks Board can no longer condone the use of climbing of the climbing area within the park boundaries. Additionally, recent seismic activity has brought the safety of several some, several some common routes and climbing sections into question. We are reviewing safety policies and will publish findings as soon as possible. Until then, please refrain from using designated climbing areas in the park. Signed, M. Antonides, Milton and Area Parks Board. Okay. Yes, that must be because of the accident. Lily's accident. She fell to her death, the poor girl. O. M. G. Alright, that's a pack of wolves. That was more than one wolf. I have a feeling that's, uh, that must be scripted. Perfect timing. Get out of here, bunny. Wolves are coming. Run. Run for your life. Oh, look. There's a little cabin up there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, so, as I was saying, my son is a climber. He goes to school out in northern Arizona. All they do is climb, and I don't want to hear about it. He climbs with ropes for the most part. 
But, you know, sometimes he wears the helmet, sometimes he doesn't. One time he fell 20 feet, he was still attached to the rope, but smacked his head on the cliffside and got knocked unconscious. We got a call from the uh, Utah emergency room. <laughs> not good. Oh, look at all the goodies here. Yeah, we'd rather just not know, you know what I'm saying? Don't tell us what you're doing. Um, pot belly stove here. Let's check the drawers again. We don't really need much. But we might as well go through it. And that safe deposit key, I don't think we're ever coming back to Milton, to be honest. And you can go back and... I wonder if this is any good to eat. Looks good to me. It's crunchy stuff. Um, it's like a little mini game, collecting all the keys and going through all the safe deposit boxes. But I don't... It doesn't matter. It's not going to help us any, really. Um, maybe we'll do that in a, someday down the road or something. Oh, Flare! Oh, shell's nice. But I want to keep this story moving forward, and I don't think going through... The safe deposit boxes is really going to help us in any way. Can we call for help? Help! 911! We're in the apocalypse. Oh! Flare shell. And another one back there. Ooh! Someone scattered them all about. And a first aid kit. This must be some kind of ranger station. Come in handy. Oh, well. Emergency steroid injection and a bandage. And we are getting even heavier now. 104 out of 63. And the, the tireder we get, the less we can carry. So we are super encumbered, of course. Uh, there's a bed here. That's interesting. And we can get some wood here, but we don't need it. No, we don't need anything. Let's go. I want to get this climb done before the sun goes down, before those wolves catch up. I don't think they're coming this way, but you never know what's scripted, right? Climbing area. Oh, I thought we couldn't climb here. I'm surprised it doesn't have the uh, circle with the whoosh, slash in the middle, you know? No climbing. Huh? Huh? We have like nine or ten flares now. This is excellent. Okay. Uh, there's like a picnic area up here with some picnic tables and a and a pavilion. Look at that. The clothes we're wearing. We're so toasty warm. It's awesome. Oh, music. Picnic. Oh, it is a picnic area. I told you. This is where people come and they gather around with their families and they have a little picnic. They throw rocks at rabbits. Quasi wabbits. And I guess I can't get in there. I guess I can. Uh, should we kill a quasi wabbit? No, we don't really have time. Getting really tired carrying all this stuff. It's so heavy. Weighted down. Oh, here we go. It's a climbing area. I hope it's safe because of seismic activity. <laughs> Holy smokes. Is this where the poor girl fell? Oh. It's so sad. I don't even... Uh... Like I said, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. My son does some free solo climbs, and that's that means no ropes. Not very often, but sometimes they do. And it drives me crazy. Now, we need an a point to attach. Oh, here we go! Deploy the rope! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I have a bad feeling oh. I'm never going to see this place again. Oh, no! I guess we're not coming back to Milton, ever. Oh, that's a nice knot, Will. You done, you done good. And this rope is so super thick. This stuff is great. Like my son's climbing rope, which is not cheap. It's about a, a dollar a foot, and they need like 250 feet um, to do anything. Oh, oh no! I'm too encumbered to climb. Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Well, that dropped a lot when I deployed the rope, but we're still really heavy. And I don't know what to drop here. Dang it. Uh, I have a feeling the game wants us to drop a lot of stuff because wherever we're headed is most likely going to have a bunch of new places to loot and all that jazz. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. I think if we go back to this cabin, and I can barely walk, uh, rest up a little, maybe make some coffee in that potbelly stove, right? Let's do that. I think we just have to get... Above that number there, yeah. Which means we're going to have to drop some things. And maybe get our eye filled up. So we're not tired. And then run over to the rope. And climb down. And you know what? It's going to be dark soon. Yeah, I have a feeling we just need to drop a lot of stuff. My guess is we're going to get a lot of stuff in the next area anyway. But, and there's no door here. Yeah. Alright, let's get a fire going. Let's use a cattail head and a book. 
95% chance. We'll get a fire going. We'll cook up some, uh, some coffee. And I guess we could sleep here, too. There is a bed. Oh, yeah. First try. 13 minutes. All right, let's throw the cedar in there. This stuff is really heavy anyway. So we'll get rid of it. We'll warm up while we're here. And how many sticks do we have? Uh, not many. I'll hang on to those. All right, let's cook up some coffee. Tin of coffee right here. Oh, smells divine. Oh, yeah. Big Moose Kicks coffee, let me tell you. This is the best stuff ever. Made in Canada. Down the hatch it goes. Now let's see what this does for Will's eye. Warmed up and fatigue reduced. Good, because I don't want to climb fatigued. Is that all of it? Didn't really do much, did it? Let's make another pot. We have a lot of coffee here. And how long does it take to make the coffee? Only a few minutes. All right, good. Because we could sleep, but that's going to take an hour, right? Every time you sleep, it's like an hour. At least an hour. Down the hatch with some more coffee. Let's check. 88 out of 65. We're not even close. All right. Well, you know the, you know the routine here, guys. I'm just going to drop a bunch of stuff. What is the heaviest that we have here? Ay, caramba. Uh, drop the books. Gosh. I just hate dropping anything as a survivor. This is just, this is killing me. I'm gonna drop a gallon of water. And now we're at 65 of 66. Okay. Now let's run. Let's go. I think we can do it. All right. Now we can sprint too, but I don't want to sprint because we'll get tired. <laughs> A bit of a catch-22 here. And now the sun's going down. Oh, man. Come on. Can we make it? Almost there. Almost there. Grab it, Will. Grab the rope. Yes. Here we go. Oh, oh easy. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like climbing. My son brings me climbing. I do it to make him happy because I know he loves it. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> I don't mind heights. Heights don't frighten me. Ah! Holy smokes! I don't feel so good. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I guess that rope was older than it looked. No way! That rope, come on, that stuff is like stronger than steel. It doesn't really break. But I know it's a game, so what are you gonna do? Now we are hurt. Will is hurt. Where you hurt, Willie boy? Oh, we're still warming up from that nice hot coffee. We had so much of it. We're injured. What's my status here? I guess we're okay. We got a little bit of an abrasion. We're all right. We're good. But the rope broke because clearly there's no way back to Milton. I mean, that's it. We're never going to see Granny ever again, probably. Uh, maybe in another life. Or if this apocalypse ever ends, we can come and visit, assuming she makes it. But we left her enough junk all over her floor that she should probably survive for 20 years. <laughs> all right. Well, I hated leaving all that stuff behind, but man, we're moving a lot faster now, aren't we? Climbing area. Another climbing area, but we don't have any more rope. So, well, I guess we're not going to be doing any climbing, which is fine by me. I've had my fill of climbing today. And how are we doing? 65 and 65. Yeah. We're still a little bit encumbered. Oh, I hung on to dusty pinnacle peaches. I didn't know I had those. Which is good. We're going to need a little food. Oh, let's check the map. Um, hold on. Find the route that leads through the mountains. Eh. Maybe we are going to do more climbing. Do I have more rope, though? I guess we'll be doing some free solo. My son would be proud. Oh boy. Just don't tell him I'm doing this. Because I tell him not to do it. Although this crazy guy by the name of Alex Hummel. I think that's his name. Hummel? Hummel? Um, he just climbed... I think it was El Capitan in Yosemite Park. Um, free solo. Without any ropes. Just climbed up. Dude, it's like 3,000 feet. 
three two thousand to three thousand feet or something like that without any ropes are you kidding me it's like a sheer cliff face straight up and he did it oh cave here we go all right uh do we need any ravaged deer carcass i don't think so we're pretty good with the food and water no it's too dark i want to keep moving just gotta keep going here something inside this cave uh it's a floating campfire this look wait we haven't been here have we there's a floating campfire in a backpack somebody was here is it food or it's food beef jerky oh good we're stocking back up on things but unfortunately all those things we already had i didn't drop any of that stuff that's super light uh oh we got some wood we'll grab the wood it looks like maybe we're supposed to stay here Oh, coal is amazing. It's the burnt. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Shush it! Grab all the coal. Coal's amazing. Yeah. Uh, maybe we're supposed to stay here for the night. There's a bedroll, too, but I already have one. What time is it? It's still sunlight, though. Oh, boy. Not cold. Not super tired. I wish we could save the game, but you can't. Here, unfortunately. Let's keep moving. I'm just gonna keep going until we find somewhere to save it. I just wanna do this while we still have some daylight. Just gonna keep pushing on. I wanna find this climbing area. Oh, there's a rope over there. It's hanging down. Somebody left a rope for us. Excellent. And hopefully, this one doesn't snap like the other one. And you know what? I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to climb. Because we're so heavy. I don't know. We'll see what the game does for us here. It might say, nope, not going to happen. Yep, not going to happen. Too heavy. 73. Drop the rocks. All right. Dropped all the paper. We can do it. Can we do it? Yes. <sighs> that is really annoying, let me tell you. He's leaving a trail of food and gear and stuff that we could probably use to survive. But my guess is we're going to get to a new area with lots of places to loot. Come on, Will. Almost there. Oh, gosh. I hope we can do this. So close. Uh, up. It's harder than it looks. Oh, no. Look at our eyes. <laughs> we're so tired. Every ounce of energy. This is why Lily fell, see? Oh my... Dude? Can you make it? Okay, I think the game wanted us to be tired when we got to the top. Really tired. Like, there's nothing left. There's nothing left, guys. I'm spent. Coffee's worn off. Alright, we gotta find a place to settle. Gotta be a cave... Or a ranger station. Oh. Oh, this is really bad. Maybe we should have stayed at that cave. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't get down there. I'm getting weaker. I think we gotta cross this tree. Yeah, we're getting weak. Um, we're just tired. And there's no way to wake up. Unless I sleep. Or drink coffee, but I'll have to get a fire going for that. And I dropped a lot of fire materials. Oh, please be a cave. Cave should have been here after the climb, not before the climb. Alright, maybe right here? I guess I could just get a fire going anywhere. I haven't lit a fire outside in a long time. It's just not an easy thing to do. Let's just keep going. This is a huge risk. Okay, we got shelter from the wind here. I don't know what happens if you get so fatigued. Do you, do you just pass out on the ground? Like, we're... Oh, no! Oh, I thought I was about to pass out. It's gotta be a cave. Come on. There's gotta be some shelter here. Oh, no, I'm not moving. There's a deer carcass. 
Oh, another cave. Come on, Will, push on. Like crawling on my hands and knees here. I see a rainbow. Is that a good or bad? Come on, Will. We're so close. There's something here. Please make it. Oh, dear. All right, I think we're just gonna have to start a fire here. Oh. There's gotta be some shelter. I'm not finding any shelter. You mean this isn't sheltered from the wind? That doesn't make any sense. There's a cattail, don't need it. How is this not sheltered from the wind? Alright, just keep moving. One foot in front of the other. Just keep going. And I'm missing a lot of these cattails. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on! I'll grab one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This is the longest pass ever. Alright, we're at the next waterfall. Opens up a little bit. I don't see any lovely, warm, cozy cave. Or any shelter from the wind. We took this risk by continuing, and now... Oh dear. Oh, here's a cave! <gasps> yes! That plane's taking me a lot of places. Sorry to leave you here, old girl. But right now, I gotta find Astrid. Oh! We made it! We're in the cave! Okay, and we're gonna call it quits right here. It's saved, we're good, we'll pick up right here in the cave in the next episode. I will at least light this uh, lantern and see what we see. And yeah. Okay, firewood, stick, yeah. Alright, we're good. We're gonna call it quits right here. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.